This is a story I was told. It was August of 1973. My brother Jiro was four, sitting at dinner. Itadakimas. Jiro picked up a nigiri, a rice bowl with his hand, and mashed it in his mouth. Fish and rice on his plate, untouched. Jiro stuffed another onigiri in his mouth, bits of rice falling. Jiro-chan! A warning from my mother, but Jiro is still laughing and mess with his food. Jiro opened his mouth wide splayed, his tongue covered in white beads of rice. Uncle Kazuya heard my mother and came and he witnesses the disrespect of Jiro's behavior to our mother and to the food. He roughly pulled Jiro out of his seat. What are you doing? My mother asked. He must eat his dinner properly. Shocked, Kazuya went to the back door, carrying Jiro firmly under his arm with the other arm. He picked up a circle of rope hanging on the fence. Kazuya, please stop! Uncle Kazuya was heading to the backyard, dragging Jiro firmly. He punched my brother. Once then, he wrapped the rope around my brother, winding the rope around and around Jiro. Don't touch me! He needs to learn to be a man! Jiro cried, asking his mom for help. Mom, please help me! Uncle Kazuya, please stop! <laughs> my mother was shouting at my uncle. Jiro was screaming. Kazuya, please let him go! The sound flooding the sky. Kazuya went back to the house, relaxed and entitled, as if he had just finished a long day work. No one remembers the rest. My mother never forgave my uncle. My father wasn't there. Jiro can recall any of it. He jokes that the incident is possibly the reason he always intuitively ends everything on his plate. <laughs> <laughs> Lights come in action. Stop! 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 Stop!